I see you're watching this video on YouTube. I highly recommend checking out the description below to find my channel on Odyssey and Library. The platform is ad-free after making an account and it has no evil overlords. Thank you. Hello. Today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of a Pine phone I just got in the mail. I bought the convergence package maybe about a month ago. I'll put that the actual date that I purchased it down in the uh, description. But uh, I just want to open up the box, see what's inside, and then I'll probably do a first impressions and a review video later. This is just strictly, I don't know what's in here, and I figure I may as well let other people know as well. So, first the tape. It's nice that it came in this really small box. My, uh, my mailman was able to put it directly into my mailbox. So I didn't have to worry about it sitting on my front door while I was gone or anything. I'm thinking there's probably another box in here. Yep. So get rid of that. Nothing else in that uh, USPS box. So here is the pine phone box. Looks like it even has. I don't know what this is. It looks like it almost had like a little SIM card or something in it. But, uh, it's hollow. I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Just uh, leave it there. So the front, open, friendly, community driven. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this phone was only $200 for the convergence package. Uh, the group themselves, I believe, they make the hardware and they entrust the community to do the software. So the operating systems, uh, the software on there, like the caller, the messenger, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is still beta edition. I purchased this knowing full... I knew in advance that this is not considered a daily driver yet. I don't care. I use Linux all the time. Uh, if it has a problem, I'll try to fix it myself and maybe help the community out. But for the most part, it seems like people are using it every day it's just maybe having some battery problems and doesn't have a bunch of applications yet which I'm totally okay with I want a phone for being a phone I I don't care about having an app store or anything like that I'm gonna love having shell access too on a phone it's gonna be awesome so there's the specs on the side it's uh, 3 gigs of RAM 32 gigs of memory And here it says the package contents are the quick start guide, the Pine phone, a USB-C power cable, and a USB-C dock. So whenever you buy the convergence package, it's $50 more than the normal Pine phone, but it comes with an extra gig of RAM and the dock, which I'm super excited about because I also purchased a Librem 5 on the same day that I purchased this. Uh, it has not shipped yet but it does not come with the dock. So I'm hoping this pine foam dock also works with the Librem 5. Okay, looks like I got everything out. Here is a really quick readme. Try to hold that still. If you guys want to pause the video and try reading it. See, this is probably what a warranty guide or something. Or is this the actual user manual? Yeah, this is the quick start guide here. Uh, where is English? Okay. Here's English. Again, I'll try to hold it still, even if you pause this, it might be too small to read. Okay. So then you got the cable. It's kind of cool that it's red. My uh, OnePlus 7 Pro came with a red cable as well, which makes it really easy for finding.
So it's also cool that this is USB-C. I'm looking forward to having more USB-C things. So far, my OnePlus 7 Pro is the only thing I have that's USB-C. But there you go. USB-A to USB-C. Here's the Pine phone itself. Screen protector. Oh, that's cool. It's got a, the little pine cone uh, up in the camera area. I didn't know it had that. I actually didn't do too much research on the phone itself. I was mostly interested in the operating systems it could run. I think it comes with post market OS, and I'm most likely going to be running Ubuntu Touch on it, but I will try post market OS first, assuming that's what's on it. If it doesn't come with anything on it, then I We'll probably just put Ubuntu Touch on it from the, from the start. And the last thing is the dock. So the dock has a USB-C on one side. Well, you know, the male end. It goes into the phone. And then you've got two USB-A. I believe they're probably just 2.0, but don't quote me on that. There's also an HDMI and Ethernet. But yeah, so that's the unboxing. Like I said, I'll do a separate video on my first impressions once I've used it for a day or two and kind of just set it up, um, gone through the any installation guides or anything like that. And then after a few months, I'll probably also do a review. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and Enjoy Linux. Take care.